What's up everyone, it's the Squad Father here at Player One Esports, and here is your recap for Stage 1, Round 2 of the PUBG Amateur League. These are the 16 teams featured in Lobby B. Let's get right into it with Game 1 on Erangal. The Round 2 kicks off, we watch as Elevate and Noble get right into it. Elevate getting knocked out early in this game. Noble ready to bring it back after a rough round one. We watch as Supernova tried to get the drop on the Slime Squad here on the mountainside. They snuck up, had good coordination, but Slime Squad was ready for them. Noble heard this skirmish going on, tried to try to make their way over and pick up some quote unquote free points. But after Slime Squad was done with Supernova, they turned their sights to Noble. Before you knew what even happened, Slime Squad had wiped them off the face of the map. Slime Squad, a force to be reckoned with in Lobby B. Olympus also had a very impressive game. Eight kills despite the fact they went out at ninth. Team Garbage, you see, getting gunned down here. They were our current leaders in Lobby B overall. We'll have to see if they can hold on to it throughout the rest of the qualifiers. Poor Ozzy getting picked off by Define Legit of the Smoking Aces. Slime Squad again putting that work onto Apollo. It's Crop and Eddie tried to make their way over in the rotation and just get absolutely decimated by the Slime Squad. This was the play of the game. Light Show and Baby Beans pull up on Levi and Blissey. They storm the castle. They take out Blissey. Now they've got their sights on Levi. He tries to make his way around the building. The Light Show and Baby Beans are able to gun him down. This was the only compound in the circle. Soon, only three teams remain. Your boy Jonathan of the Baboons eliminated. Carbon XYZ, the final member of Slime Squad in a 1v2 situation against two of the best. He's able to drop Light Show, make his way a little closer, get Baby Beans up next. Light Show only has a few seconds to get a first aid off, and then it's right at it. 1v1 situation, but Light Show and the Smoking Aces emerge with a nine kill chicken dinner. After that game one, we really didn't know what to expect coming in here from Team Garbage. They had a rough game one, and it followed suit in game two. They got into it early on with mixed results. They looked like they might have something going when that sociopath got dropped, but Ranger had different plans, knocking out two members. Owen Bear was the only one remaining. The third parties were real throughout this entire game. Team Garbage, our first team out in game two. Slime Squad also had another impressive performance proving their skills, taking out Team Arctic as Team Noble shot down on them. Looked like they might lose Tetra, but in the end, Hunna was able to save the day, taking out Ifeezy. Slime Squad walking away at 11th place with only four kills at the end of the day. Why? Because Team 1UP caught them moving in late with the zone. Company man putting in that work, dropping Tetra and Hunna, and just like that, they're out of there. We also watched as Chaos broke out in Phase 6. Supernova, Apollo, Mixed Results, and Elevate all going at it. Stuck out here on the northwestern side of the zone. They went back and forth for several minutes. The firefights were real. The revives were happening all over the place. But Apollo snuck up behind Elevate, able to put in some damage. Squeeze Elevate between Supernova and themselves. And before you knew it, it was curtains for them. Elevate goes out at 7th, Supernova in 6th. As we reach the end of the game, only a few teams remained. The God Squad, mixed results, Noble and Apollo. Apollo ended up being the first ones to go out amongst these four. Duck of Team Noble got the drop on Ranger, but eventually lost his life to the zone. Reap the place, the final remaining member fighting against the four strong team of God Squad was able to drop Lil Prod and take him out of the game. He put on an impressive fight here, trying to get the damage off, trying to do the 1v3, the hope, the dream, dropping Danny G. Made his way outside, but Triggs was able to secure the kill. A 10 kill game for the God Squad. Moving on into game three, the team to watch out for was Noble. At the beginning of the game, they had a little bit of a mishap. Duck decided to ghost ride the whip, riding on top of the U.S. Blissey saw this as an opportunity. 
Noble ended up getting three of their members down in this skirmish. It looked like it was going to be curtains, but Kaisuko was able to clutch it, dropping both Company Man and Peaches Jr. to save the day and pick up all three of his teammates. Moving forward into the game, sixth sense. Although they currently are at the bottom of the leaderboard in game two, but some work on to wash up, dropping Adam G33 and Suspect. We're gonna have to see how this plays out through the rest of this stage to see how well they do for Earth. If you know him, you know he's got those nasty nades. He decided to target smoking Aces, lost the remaining members of his team until it was just him. He looked like he might clutch it, taking out the three remaining members of Smoke and Aces, but Baby Beans had other plans. He hopped up and dropped for Earth, knocking Apollo out at 10. Noble, noble, noble. They lost several members throughout this game, just getting the drop down, but not out. They didn't actually lose them. They got dropped, but they continued to put the work on everybody else, putting shots out everywhere. Tier 8 also making a name for themselves, picking up five kills in this game, winding up in fourth place. Twitch It's Lan had a couple nades with Swetsky dropping Greg Shot and the nade cleaning up Hella Uchiha. Getting into phase six again, this is really when the chaos culminates. You can see mixed results, Noble, Tier 8, Arctic, Olympus, and Team Garbage all going at it. Garbage had to move up behind Olympus. They saw the fight going on between mixed results and them. They moved up to take advantage of the situation. Owen Bear ended up getting dropped by Splinter, but then Big Nate returns the favor. Twitch Fudge TV ended up picking an AWM up by this point and used it to just drop. Decinator. Bruiserton able to pick him up, but a nade put him right back down. Eventually, it all rounded out to just two teams. Noble and mixed results. A 4v4 fight at the end of the game. They went back and forth. This skirmish was so exciting and so fun to watch. One member goes down of one team. Another member goes down of the other team. They went back and forth, back and forth. But Fudge, the MVP here with the AWM, you can just see, boom! Down, boom, down, and in the end, Noble walk away with a massive 16 kill game. Game four, Aaron Gall, our final game of the day for Lobby B. This game started out pretty interesting. You can see Dom LaBomb tried to put some pressure on the team one up, ends up dropping Company Man and Blissey as they hop out to Dacia, picks up one kill, but then one up are able to save their remaining teammate. Follow. Took this with a grain of salt. They pulled up three man strong and ended up wiping out the rest of one up. They had a good day, but unfortunately in game four, one up go out at 14 with only one kill. We also watched as Slime Squad and God Squad went head to head. These two teams wanted to figure out who was the superior squad in Lobby B. They took turns ascending this three story, hopping out. Lil Prod staked his claim on the top floor. These two teams win at it. Both of them fighting back and forth. One member goes down from one team. One member goes down from the other team. There's a back and forth brawl for several minutes. In the end, both these teams going out relatively early. Slime Squad at 13th with three kills. God Squad at 12th with four kills. That phase six chaos coming in. Olympus stuck on the edge of zone. Team Garbage and Sixth Sense putting the pressure on them. It all boiled down to the farm. As you can see, team washed up, staked their claim in the main compound. One person in each building, only one member of tier eight, Bruiserton, and then three members of mixed results, Ranger, Darth, and Reap the Place made it to this final phase. Mixed results had a chance, an opportunity. Bruiserton thought he had a moment to try and be the hero. But in the end, washed up, pick off each member of mixed results one at a time, winding up with 13 kills and a chicken dinner. Just to recap, at the end of the day in round two, these are the teams that walked away with winner winner chicken dinners in our featured lobby, Lobby B. Smoking Aces, God Squad, Noble, and Washed Up all secured a win. And Lobby B, Noble walking away with 16 kills in that game three, a massive game for them. Meanwhile, over in the off-stream lobby, Lobby A, we had an interesting turn of events as Team B42 and the Happy Campers each walked away with two 
Winner, winner, chicken dinners. Team B42 winning games one and three, and the Happy Campers winning games two and four. Taking a look at the overall standings, things have mixed up a little bit. You can see in Lobby A, the Happy Campers now lead the pack with a total of 100 points. This is far beyond anyone else, 21 points above the Ghost Cadets who were reigning champs after round one. 303 Esports trail just below them with 64. We'll have to see how that plays out. Over in Lobby B, Team Garbage narrowly holds on to a lead just two points above the Smoke and Aces and Noble, after an amazing round two get day of play, have moved their way all the way up to third place on that leaderboard. Remember, the top eight from each lobby will qualify for the stage one finals and a chance at that $10,000 prize pool. Well, that's it for our round two recap of the PUBG Amateur League. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to tune in to the PAL live on Twitch at 8 p.m. EDT on Thursdays and Fridays at twitch.tv forward slash player1esports. We'll see you in the chat.